So today I'm doing my houseplant tour, which is really stupid because one, it's raining and super dark out. Two, everyone is out and it's really noisy. And now the church bells are going off. And three, I haven't done any trimming outside my house, so it's still relatively dark in there. So I'm just winning today, but we'll see how it goes. Let's get to it. So my house plant tour starts outside on my balcony porch, portico, if you will, with the plants that I've decided to keep outside, the plants, the dead things that I've decided to keep outside um, for the time being. And first we have my baby jade, my eucalyptus, plant, my Dichondra Silver Falls, who I haven't potted because I am way too nervous, my tomato, and this is a porch tomato, so he's actually dwarf, he won't get too big, he's called Little Sicily, some Columbine, which is for sure dead, well, not for sure, kind of dead, you know, we'll see how it happens, I don't know, my jade plant, my normal jade plant and then these are all outdoor plants this I took home from work last year I don't know what it is this died so that's not really a plant and this is my lily uh, it's called little nugget or like yellow nugget something nugget or other um, but that's what I have outside right now it's great so when you first walk in my house this is what you see I'm gonna start over here we have my Alocasia from Lowe's, don't know what kind. My Moon Valley Pylea, some ivy that I tried to save from Meyer, who is dying, sadly. Then my Monstera, who is shooting out new leaves like crazy. Then down here I have my two speckled begonias. Um, this one is called Sophia, and this one is called My Little Angel, or some stupid crap like that. Um, they're super pretty. My Neon Pothos on my little coffee table. My Alocasia Polly, who is also shooting out some new growth, which is awesome. Then in this window, golden one of my golden pothos and some jade plant um, cuttings that I'm rooting in soil that are doing super well. Then down here, we have my philodendron prince of orange who is shooting out a new leaf as well. Look at that red, that is incredible. That is so awesome. Then on my bookcase, we have a sweet potato vine, which I need to water because he is sad. The first Syngonium that I ever got, he is the one who started my love of Syngonium. And I have accidentally chipped off some pieces from him. So he is regrowing really awesomely from the base. He started my Syngonium obsession. He is to blame. And down here we have my Fatsia japonica spiderweb. And his leaves are getting big and beautiful and he has new growth in there. Then moving this way on this table of crap that I still have to hang. We have a Pelionia. Um, I forget which kind, but I don't really care about this plant. <laughs> I don't know why I got it, but he doesn't look good and he didn't look good when I got him. But there he sits. <laughs> then we have this Syngonium who is in a 12 inch pot and growing like crazy. He's pretty awesome. I love him. I'm probably gonna start propagating him soon. Then on the other side of my TV is my Aglaonema color, something color, color, what is it actually called? Colorful, oh it just says colorful, that's not what it's actually called. But he's shooting out new growth. And that is it for the living room. Then in the dining room, <clears throat> I 
actually, first, <laughs> we have these um, cacti that were gifts from a coworker. Then I have my aloe down here, who I need to repot. Um, avocado seed, hopefully. One of my begonias. Um, this one is one that I don't really like. I have a lot of plants that I don't really like, but I try to save from different box stores. Usually doesn't work, obviously. But like Meyer is the worst, so I would try to save something every time I go to Meyer. And then on my window sill here, we have um, little um, succulent propagation that I started. And this guy who I took home from work, he's a little cactus. Then this, which was a housewarming present. Um, one of my string of hearts cuttings. My other string of hearts cutting. Um, this cactus. This cactus, which was a gift from a friend. Thanks, Cody, by the way. Monstera adansonii. Um, this lipstick plant cutting which is in the smallest pot known to man. Um, I'm gonna hate myself for that later. My string of pearls cuttings, which aren't doing well, and I'm really sad. And my ficus elastica ruby cutting, which isn't doing anything yet. And down here, we have more Trandescantia zebrina. Um, this calanchoe, which is a gift from my mom, which is blooming for the fourth time this season. Since November, like that's incredible. Um, what is this called? Purple heart plant. Um, I need to put him outside, but he's growing really well. I love him. He's got this gorgeous purple color. It's so beautiful in the morning when the light's coming in from here. Then I have some cuttings, which I'm probably gonna throw away. I do have a little Peperomia prostrata. Oh, maybe I don't. Hmm. I'm gonna have to sort through that later. This is called a China doll plant. It's really cool. I like that one. Um, some um, silver or satin puffos cuttings from Cody. What else is in here? I think that's it. I think I potted all my other cuttings. This is an alocasia that I grew from a um, bulb. I'm so excited to see that unfurl. My baby tomato plants, which aren't gonna do anything because it's too late in the season. My first ever cactus. Then we have my shufflera from my mom. Um, she didn't want them anymore and I was like, I'll take it. And it's growing like crazy. It's always got new growth on it. And then my uh, shufflera amate, who looks sad but has new growth. So I'm not too worried about him. And then up here we have another golden pothos. Now we come to my plant shelf. Um, first, on the first shelf is my Pilea Glauca or Glauca aquamarine. My um, Peperomias. Um, this is the Obtusifolia variegata. This is another Obtusifolia variegata variety. My Jelly Peperomia. My teeny tiny baskets, which aren't relevant. Um, here we have my, oh my god, my Pilea peperomoides cutting, or baby, from Becca. This, another ivy that I tried saving from, um, Meyer. Again, not working. My ZZ plant cuttings. A baby, um, Prince of Orange philodendron. My pink syngonium. My philodendron micans, who is doing beautifully. I love him. Then we have um, another Syngonium. What kind does this tag say? Cream Illusion. There's like a pink illusion that I have as well um, that doesn't look pink. I don't know why they call it pink illusion. <laughs> and then my Oxalis Triangularis. My um, Peperomia Rana Verde, who's doing a lot better. Caladium, which kind of caladium is he? Allure, apparently. It's an Allure Caladium. Um, my other Neon Pothos, my Red Ripple Peperomia, or Emerald Ripple, 
not quite sure which one. But this guy, not this guy, this guy has some amazing leaves and some beautiful flowers. This is another Syngonium that died off, but is coming back. And he's really pretty. My, I forget how you say this, it's the um, polka dot plant. This is a snake plant cutting that I have, and that is it for my plant shelf. I have my um, field engine Hope, who's getting some new leaves. I love this thing. Then we move to my kitchen. First is my first ever plant. And this is Philodendron cordatum. And I love this plant to death. I will die next to this plant. And there's a baby from it up there. And moving across the kitchen counter, we have a Cebu Blue Pothos that is from a different plant of mine. I took him as cuttings and he looks decent. My green Maranta, which I think was mislabeled. Well, I don't know. Then my um, Hoya Compacta um, Variegata, Variegated Hindu Rope. My Watermelon Peperomia Cutting, who has seen better days and who I'm going to regret planting oops, in this small of a pot, for sure. But up there is another Golden Pothos. My string of um, bananas, which I rescued. Pilea Pan Am, which I hope dies, to be honest. This was Tranus Gancha, I forget which kind, but Becca gave this to me. It's not doing so well. Another avocado in a different spot, because I really want one of them to grow. <laughs> Pilea Orba. It's called like Pixie Lime or something like that. Um, my baby coffee plant in a pour over, which is funny. I think. Ha. Brazil philodendron. My first Brazil foot. Philodendron. He's starting to grow. Then my um, Monstera cutting. That is, has lots of roots. And a new leaf. And over here, we have some onions. Because I use onions all the time, but I need to buy some new ones. My uh, medallion clethia. My maiden hair fern, the sad looking maiden hair fern. Ignore him, basically. This is my Fetonia. My baby basil, um, which I planted way too many of and am hoping they make it. Then another Fetonia cordatum. My uh, peacock or rainbow fern, which died off and is now coming back. Pearls and jade, pothos. This is another Cebu blue, and I just bought this one. And this one is really interesting because it is very good. I don't know if you can see that. So this is actually variegated. And I've never seen one variegated before. And I'm trying to keep it in the most sunlight possible so that it stays variegated. Then on this windowsill, actually there's my first Cebu Blue up there. But on this windowsill, we have Cactus that a uh, coworker grew from seed. Burrow's tail. Um, my first succulent. I don't know what's up with him, but something is definitely up with him. Um, this is that pink illusion. I don't get it, but whatever. <laughs> um, Portulaca or elephant bush. Or not Portulaca, Portulacaria. different thing. Um, this is called um, Miranda shoves succulents in a pot and hopes they live. Um, this jade plant is rooting though. I need to water that. My rickrack cactus. My Christmas cactus. Another string of bananas cutting. My burl marks abo variegata philodendron who I just got in the mail who looks awesome. Another avocado. My variegated peace lily here on the floor next to this beautiful palladium and also next to this beautiful caladium and next to this very sad lemon tree. If you have any tips on keeping these things alive, please tell me because I really want this to live, but it's dying and I'm very upset about it. So then up on top of my fridge, I have a baby spider 
Um, I gave away the parent plant to this guy just because I'm not really a huge fan of spider plants. But I did want to keep one just to have it. Another cutting of that um, other uh, philodendron cordatum. My Song of India Dracaena that's rooting. Then over here on my little stand of memories, this is a cutting from that Pelionia. I think it's Pelionia repens or I don't know. This is a uh, Marble Queen Pothos that one of my coworkers gave me because she didn't want it anymore. So I took it. This is my Camellia Yuletide, who is growing. And they told me I couldn't grow him as a houseplant. I was like, um, yeah, I can. So this is the last plant that I have in my kitchen. So I forgot to show this one. This is my cat grass. The cats have destroyed it, but you know, whatever it's theirs, they can do whatever they want to it. But that's the cat grass. So then in my hallway, I have this Dracaena. I have another snake plant here and another one here. And that's all I have in the hallway. But in my bathroom, I have a doorstop, which is actually some ivy that I took from work. Um, on my counter, uh, I think that's what's called, I have this um, Spanish moss growing. Um, this ivy, which I successfully saved from Meyer, the first success. Um, this, the good looking maiden hair fern. My Calathea white fusion. My rattlesnake Calathea. Um, my um, plumosa fern. This is another Ciba blue cutting, which isn't looking as good as the other one because I forgot to water it. Another Monstera adansonii cutting. Um, my marble queen cutting. All these are rooted. They were cuttings. They aren't anymore. This is a teddy bear thing. I don't remember what it's called, but that's what that is. Another Syngonium. This is like white butterflies. Um, and then the last plant in the bathroom is another golden pothos. So through there's the cat room. I have no plants in there. And then through here is my bedroom. And when you walk in, the first thing you see is this Aglanema. He's very, very sad because I left him in my basement on accident for like a month and a half. With no sunlight and no water and no nothing. And I feel really bad and we're going to move on. Um, this is kind of Miranda's uh, plant failures room. Um, this is my other snake plant or spider plant cutting from the parent who looks very sad. My parlor palm who looks very sad. My other philodendron Brazil, who I took as cuttings, who looks very sad. Then over here is that um, plant, which I will insert right here the name of. So this looks like um, Sansevieria cylindrica. And I don't know if it's Sansevieria cylindrica or starfish because I took these cuttings from work and they had already rooted and I the guy who rooted or who took them quit so i'm not actually sure which one they are <laughs> over here I have my colocasia elephant ear from walmart and then my ficus lorida my fiddly fig who i'm not going to touch because i was told he doesn't like to be touched but he's growing out new leaves these two are new within the past week so that's really really awesome i'm very happy with him i got him for 13 dollars at home depot two years ago and he died basically it used to have three stalks now it's just one and it used to be full from like here up and now it's from here up but i'm hoping it keeps growing i have it in a north facing window so that's it for my houseplant tour thank you guys so much for watching um again leave a comment um below any video suggestions or anything that you want to see me do um but i hope you have a great day bye